Hey YouTube, this is Alarm Apod 4232. I'm going to show you how to fix an error on iTunes, error 3194. Usually happens when you're downgrading your firmware and you're in DIT mode. But I'm going to show you how to use Tiny Umbrella to fix it. Some people say you can use the host file. I tried that method, it doesn't really work too good. So I'm going to show you how to use Tiny Umbrella. Alright, so to start, you're going to need to go to Tiny Umbrella's website, firmwareumbrella.blogspot.com. I'll post the link in the description. Then you either download Alexa X if you're on Mac, or Win if you're on Windows. I'm on Windows 7, so I'm downloading Windows. Before you open it, just go ahead and plug your iPod, iPhone, or whatever into your computer. Second. And then go ahead, open up Tiny Umbrella. Yeah, you want to log. Right now, you get on the website if you want to. It doesn't really matter. It's got it run through Java, so you're going to need to have Java installed. Then you have to wait for it to load, which sometimes takes a while. And here it is. Alright, so what you're going to have to do is your iPod's already connected, to the iTunes, and um, you can click. Once iTunes loads, I'm just going to remove this out of the way. Alright, so you're going to click Start TSS Server. Run that. And then it'll shut down iTunes. Just go ahead and reopen it. And we gotta wait for it to get load again. Once it loads, then your device will pop up as usual. And wait for your device to pop up. Still waiting. There it is. So you click on it. And you go ahead, shift, restore your custom custom firmware. I'm not going to do it right now just because I'm not restoring my iPod right now, but shift, restore to your custom firmware, and then I'll do it for you. And you shouldn't have the 3206 there. Uh, one thing you can do if it doesn't work. Go to advanced, you know, check out and check that host on the city. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope I helped.